Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Team Big Plays. Alright, so today I'm coming at you with a great video. We have a Trickstar meta deck profile, but um, before we start real quick, I just want to say a couple things. One, <laughs> real sorry, but i um, got to apologize to the people who watched the first video. This is actually a different one. Um, I forgot the text in that one, so yeah, <laughs> not good. You really need those, so getting that to you. Um, number two, shout outs to Side Deck Cafe. That's basically where I got everything for this deck. I don't... Yeah, no, that's where I bought the whole deck. The only thing that I didn't is the Windwitch engine, which I bought off my friend. So, all right. Um, and then remember to, if you like the video, you like the channel, you like the content, hit subscribe, notification bell, like button, and we're just gonna go straight into the deck profile. All right, so we are going to get into the engines first, the two engines in this deck. Um, so first of all, Trick Stars and Wind Witches. <laughs> really important. These are definitely your butt savers. Um, they do a lot of similar things in at least Trick Star Candina and Ice Bell with their search effects. So, all right. Uh, first of all, you're gonna wanna run three Trick Star Candina. Now, what Candina does is it's an Elemental Hero Stratos for the deck. First of all, if this card is Normal Summon, add one Trick Star card from your deck to your hand. Each time your opponent activates a spell or trap card, inflict 200 damage to them immediately after it resolves. Uh, you're mainly only going to use this for your Trick Star plays. What you're going to want to do is you're going to search Lycoris or Lily Bell, possibly one of the spell or traps, depending on whether or not the situation, you know, um, lots of times you'd rather search reincarnation if you need discard fodder. If you just need to like spam, you want to summon Lily Bell, or if you're going first and you have a reincarnation, you want to search your Lycoris to deal damage, which brings us on to Lycoris. So, what this card does is every time your opponent card draws a card, inflict 200 damage, and then quick effect, it can tag out with a Trick Star monster. So, this is really good. Let's say you have Candina or Fuel, opponent targets it with card effect, Lycoris bounce back target misses and then as well as you can bounce back lily bell over here which i'll show you what that does in a couple seconds uh you want to tag this card along with trickstar reincarnation uh going first it's definitely one of your better first plays probably only thing better to it would be ice bell but you can use this in conjunction with that so you're mainly going to be doing a lot of burn damage with this uh, it's one of your bigger plays in the deck one of the better strategies so uh, if you can go first, get out as many reincarnations as Lycoris as you can, and you're gonna you're gonna be doing pretty good. All right, and then for our third car, we have Trickstar Lily Bell. What this does is if this car is added to your hand, except by drawing. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I don't really have a tripod, so the camera's a little bit shaky. But um, if this car is added to the hand, except by drawing it, you can special summon it from your hand. You can only use this effect to Trickstar Lily Bell once per turn. Uh, this card can attack your opponent directly. If it inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one Trickstar monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So, this is really good. You can use it to recycle Lycoris, or if you have a Lily Bell in your grave, you can use it to recycle that Lily Bell. You can normal this, use it to get this Lily Bell, this Lily Bell, since that did go special if you haven't special summoned a Lily Bell this turn. Uh, which just makes for more damage than that Lily Bell can go off and add one of these two, which is uh, really advantageous. So and then you have Wind Witch Ice Bell. You control the monsters. You can special it out. If it's special summon, flip 500 burn damage. Special summon one Wind Witch monster from your deck. You're going to want a special Glass Bell. Uh, what Glass Bell does, if, if it's normal or special, you can add a Wind Witch. You're going to want to add Snow Bell. Uh, but these two do, however, lock you out of monsters. This one locks you into level 5 or higher wind monsters from your extra deck. This one locks you out of any monsters that aren't wind, uh, as far as it comes with special summoning. So, and then you have Snowbell. If you control two wind monsters, two or more wind monsters, and no non-winds, special summon this from your hand. Wind Synchro Monster that was summoned using this as material. Can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So, you know, um, basically what you're going to want to do, normal, search, light stage, or reincarnation, depending on what you have in your hand. Or, yeah, light stage or reincarnation. Light stage will search Lycoris, or reincarnation will do burn with Lycoris. 
Lily Bell for going for link plays. Then use this, special this. Synchro, use this, go into your crystal wing, which I'll show you then later. You got yourself a pretty nice board. So what you wanna do too, uh, if you're locked out of specials, you just wanna go for your um, your trickstar plays. Normal Lycris, set reincarnation, normal Candina, add light stage, get the search off, or reincarnation. You know, because uh, this is gonna lock you out. You, you just, you really want to build up a couple of negates and disruption since reincarnation can disrupt depending on, you know, what you know your opponent is adding from their deck to their hands. All right, so that's going to be it for our main monsters. I'm going to go straight into our tech cards or at least our tech monsters that we run for the deck. All right, and moving on to our techs, we have... First off, Cyber Dragon. If you control the monsters and your opponent does, you can slap this baby on the board. 2,100 attack and it's light monster, level five machine. So what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna take Cyber Dragon. Um, you're either gonna go into one of two extra deck monsters. You're gonna contact either into Mega Fleet or Fortress. Now, this is gonna be in your side deck. You take one Cyber Dragon from either player's side of the field and any number of machines from either player's side of the field gains a thousand attack for each. That's literally all it's for. Um, it's mainly just for your Cyber Dragon matches up. Match, ugh, match ups. Yeah, there we go. Um, but it's a side because you know you're not going against machines a lot. What you're gonna really wanna bring out is gonna be your Mega Fleet Dragon. Uh, this is kind of the same contact fusion from either player's side, except uh, you can use monsters in the extra monster zone, which are these two right here. Um, and a Cyber Dragon, you can use any number. So it all, uh, and it gains 1,200 attack for each, so you know you get a solid beater, but uh, the, you're mainly just gonna use it for removal. Um, even though Cyber Dragon is a beater, you can get out if you do need it, but um, removal, and then you're just gonna link it off. And then you have Dino Wrestler Pancratops, what it does, kind of the same effect as Cyber Dragon, the only difference is you only have to control less monsters than your opponent. And then it has 2,600 attack, also quick effect. What it can do is tribute a Dino Wrestler on the field, pop a card. So you basically summon it out, uh, attack, or if you want to pop tribute, since it's a quick effect, you can do it, do it during other players' turns. All right, and then that's it for the monster text. We're just gonna move straight on into hand traps. All right, so up next we have our hand traps. We're running to effect Veiler. Uh, all it does is during your opponent's main phase, quick effect, send this from your hand to the graveyard, target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate. Um, this cards, and honest, are gonna be the cards you're gonna be siding out most of the time. Uh, you can replace effect Veiler too with two infinite or even three infinite impermanences. Honestly, I kind of recommend you do that. But you know, if you're kind of running on a budget, uh, effect Veiler is your, Second best option for that. So unless you, you know, if you have cards like evenly matched, it's another one you might want to run. Um, but I like it in here for the monster negate. It comes in handy. It's definitely saved my ass a couple times. And then you have honest. What it does is uh, during your main phase, you return this face up card from the field to your hand, which can be useful. You know, if you just have, um, what is it? Top of Boral Sword. On the field, you just, you have any normal summon yet, but you need a monster to defense. You just, normal this defense, main phase two, add it back so you're not wasting it. Also, two, uh, during either player's damage step, when a light monster you control battle, send this card from your hand to the graveyard. That monster gains the attack of an opponent's attacking monster until, or, you know, monster you're attacking until the end of this turn. So, Really useful for, for getting over your beaters and just dealing that damage that, you know, you need to get in. And then, last but not least, we have three Droll and Lockbird. Now, I know you see the reincarnations over here. I'm going to get to that in a couple seconds. Uh, but what this does is, if a card is added from your opponent's main deck to your hand, now, this can be in a window too, which is how it's gonna work with this over here. But this can be in a window. Anytime an effect says it, you can pull this baby. And um, so what it does is you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard for this to turn. Cards cannot be added from either player's main deck to their hand, which is really useful uh, going against decks that like to search a lot. 
but the main thing you're going to be using for is in conjunction with Trickstar Reincarnation. So what this card does, banish your opponent's entire hand. That's cost. And if you do, they draw the same number of cards, banish it from your graveyard. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one Trickstar monster in your graveyard special. So not only is it a monster reborn that if you need to discard, you can pitch to get out more Trickstars from your grave, it works with this. Now what you do, set this, activate it, uh, standby phase, your opponent, at the activation of standby phase, like when your standby phase goes, when your opponent's standby phase goes, flip reincarnation, chain drill and lockbird, opponent has no hand, and then you have a revive in the grave, which is just insane. Um, actually, I remember pulling once, it was a drill and lockbird with three reincarnation, and a lycris, and a light stage on the field. It's just absolute devastation. Um, you don't pull it Okay, so most people say you don't pull this a lot, like it's very rare. Um, I hit this 50% of the time. It helps too that I'm running like Pot of Desires and other draw cards. But if you pull this off, if you can get it off, game. Uh, at least in most cases. Obviously, you know, Rongo can just go off with Armageddon. There are a couple one cards. So, but really good. Personally, in my opinion, better than Gumblar because you're not using so many resources to do it. So, all right, and that's going to wrap it up for our hand traps. We are going to move into our extra deck and, or not yet. We're going to move into spells, then our extra deck and side deck. All right, and to start off with our spells, we have Trickstar Light Stage. So what this does is when this card's activated, Add a trickstar monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, if you need materials, search Candina, normal Candina for Lily Bell. If you need, you know, a Lycris, search Lycris. Um, there's a new card going to be coming out called Trickstar Calabine, which is basically Cyber Dragon. Uh, the only difference is if you control all trickstars, you can special it. So it's going to be search target. Um, also, two, uh, target a set spell or trap card your opponent controls. That card can't be activated until the end of the turn, and if they can't activate it at the end of the turn, send it. And every time you're a Trickstar monster and flicks damage, uh, flick 200 points of damage, so really good. Definitely adds up. Pot of Desires, bears top 10 cards of your deck face down. Draw two. Now the reason why I like to run two Lily Bell is because Pot of Desires, you know, I don't want to banish my only copy of Lily Bell and have nothing, or draw my only copy of Lily. <coughs> And then have nothing. That's not that's not good. I don't like that. <laughs> so two pot of desire is gonna get you into what you need. You're running mostly three and two ofs. The two ofs like you could go with or without. And the three ofs you're just gonna probably only banish one or two. Then we have Call by the Grave. Is target one monster your opponent in your opponent's graveyard, banish it, and if you do until the end of that until the end of the next term. Its effects are negated, as well as the activated effects and effects on the field of monsters with the same original name. So basically, hand traps, activate Call to the Grave, it's good disruption against decks that rely on the graveyard a lot. Alright, and then you have uh, Scapegoat, quick play spell, special summon for goat tokens, can't special summon for the rest of the turn. Uh, best way to do this is activate it during the end phase of your opponent's turn, however, if you need to defend, you can activate it in... You know, kind of defend yourself from a couple attacks. Mind control. Target one monster your opponent controls and take it. You can do activate mind control to get rid of the problematic monster. Special summon it, make it off. Uh, pretty simple. So, but very, very versatile. And then you have terraforming. Search your field spell. You're going to use this. Search your light stage. Two of those. Because um, that's all you can run, trust me. Oh, by the way, I should probably mention you want to run three called by the grave. And the only reason I have two is because of. December ban list, I haven't had a chance to get another one. One monster reborn, because you can only run one. Uh, it'd be godly if you can run three. Same thing with Soul Charge. Uh, what Soul Charge does is basically monster reborn, especially some of the monster, any number of monsters from your graveyard pay a thousand points for each and you can't enter battle phase. This special summon one monster from your or your opponent's graveyard. All right, and then that should wrap up all of our spells. I'm just gonna show you that real quick. All right, and we are gonna move on to, I think, extra and side deck next. 
All right, and then, so this is our extra deck. Um, these two I'm gonna get to, but these two you're gonna wanna switch out for a couple cards. So, but when they come out, the one card's not coming out till April, and the other one is, what was the other one? I forget, oh yeah, I just don't have it yet. So, but you're gonna wanna keep them in your side. So, all right, we're gonna start off with our synchros. You have Wind Witch Winter Bell. What it does is target one Wind Witch monster in your graveyard and inflict 200 damage for the level of that monster. You're gonna to wanna to target your Glass Bell because you know that has the highest level. And you inflict about 800. So once you're done with your, this is only if you're going first, so if you're second, you wanna go on this, but if you're going first, you wanna Winter Bell, inflict as much damage as you can. Um, Ice Bell inflicts 500, so you're gonna be doing uh, 1,300, which is pretty decent. And then you're gonna go into, if you're going second, you wanna go into Clear Wing Fast Dragon. What it does, quick effect, target one monster you're playing control, especially from the extra deck, uh, drop its attack to zero, effects are negated for the rest of the turn. So, um, really good, it just gets you another negate as you're trying to synchro climb into these two, which are another negate. So, once you've done your combo and you're all said and done, and you've done with Glass Bell, then, since you used, or, yeah, Snow Bell, the level one, once you've used Snow Bell for this, it can be destroyed by card effect. Also, uh, quick effect, you can, once per turn, bring out the price turn, negate a monster effect that activates, as well as you gain the attack of that monster, which is just perfect, you know, uh, gaining more attack, so that way you can just knock your opponent out of the ring. Uh, also, too, if you're going against decks like Prank Kids or Thunder Dragon, if it battles a level 5 or higher monster, you gain the attack of that monster. So you're, unless it's a Link, you're going to be getting over some stuff. Uh, Link or Eggsies. Uh, Mega Fleet, I kind of already, oh, by the way, 3,000 attack, so it's already, it's already a beater in itself. Uh, I already explained Mega Fleet, so I'm not going to go over it, but you only need one. That's it. You don't want to, you definitely don't want to run more than one. Um, because it doesn't really come up as much. By the time you have it out, you've already gotten rid of what you need to get rid of. Alright, and then you have Trickstar Bloom. Um, it's just a down arrow. That's it. Down arrow to get rid of Lily Bell, which, um, helps you to get into your Nightmare Monsters. So, like, if you're not using Scapegoat, use Bloom. If you're using Scapegoat, use Link Karibo, uh, because what it can do, one level one monster, special out. If your opponent attacks a monster, Link Karibo effect, get rid of it. Get rid of Link Karibo, uh, change that monster to attack zero, quick effect. During another player's turn, tribute to level one, special it back. So, really good in conjunction with Scapegoat. <clears throat> and then we have Nightmare Mermaid. All you're going to be doing with this card is, you know, if your opponent just Ibli's you, Mermaid. That, that's basically it. I thought about running Ibli. You really can if you want to. I choose not to. It's, it's only in here just to get rid of opponent's Ibli's, but... If you get a Sorry, you just Skull Dread, you're gonna wanna you know, side this one out. Once Trickstar Foxy Witch comes out, I forget what the name's like Foxy Hand Glove Witch in, in the TCG, but you're gonna wanna side this out for that. And then Claren Rushka, all it is, uh, you can only summon it during. You can only link it during main phase two, and it just needs one normal summoner set monster, but. All it's for is since it's a spellcaster and it can use sets, uh, that's about it. So if your opponent, you're going against all the guys, the village of the spellcasters, you use some of this and just try to get rid of it. Even though you know you can just go into Phoenix, so it's not too important. But this, rather run Saryuja, just to get, you know, the extra on the extra special. So they're not too important, but they're here because that's what I have. Um, we get the Saryuja soon though. Alright, and then we have Nightmare Servers, Nightmare Phoenix, y'all probably know what Nightmares do. Discard a card to activate its effect when it's Link summoned to, this one pops a spell, this one pops a special summon monster, and then if they're co-linked, you get to draw. So, that's pretty good. You want to discard cards like Trickstar Reincarnation, you know, so you get the plus off. So then you're basically getting two monsters for the price of one, and then... Uh, that's about it, but if they are co-linked, this makes it so they can't be destroyed by battle, and this makes it so monsters co-linked can't be destroyed by card effect. Then you have Trickstar Holly Angel. What it does is every time a Trickstar monster inflicts damage, this card gains attack equal to that damage. 
as well as if a monster is special to his own, it points to a uh, trickstar monster. You inflict 200 to your opponent. Also, trickstar monsters it points to can't be destroyed by battle or card effect. It's mainly just for when you're link climbing. Same thing with Winter Bell to inflict damage. So, that's, that's about it. Um, it can also get to decent attack if you're using Reincarnation, but that's that's why you have these two, uh, which I'll get to in quite a second. Topologic Trisbania, um, Link 3. I'm gonna get a bit closer here. Link 3, two plus effect monsters. If a monster is special summoned to a zone, this card points to. Banish as many of those monsters as possible. Also, as many spell and trap cards on the field as possible. So, you know, good background removal, uh, especially Altergeist. I have a lot of good Altergeist counters that are just natural in this deck. So, this, and then inflicts 500 for each card of your opponents that are banished. So, you know, not only are you basically gaming tricks, uh, Altergeist by banishing their entire back row, you're doing damage along the way. And if it's in the extra monster and points to your opponent's monster, <laughs> banish that too. So, Removal, really good removal. Can win you games. I've won games with it before. Uh, good card. <laughs> and then you have Borosaur Dragon and Borlo Dragon. So, first of all, Boros busted. The only one that's not is Boro Guard, uh, which, rest in peace, my boy. So, three plus effect monsters, both of them. Uh, cannot be destroyed. This one can't be destroyed by battle. Once per turn, quick effect. You can target one attack position monster, change it to defense. This card can attack twice. And it's a, it's a 3,000 beater. Not only that, it's attack raises and it lowers your opponent's attack, which we'll get to in a second. Um, after this, so first of all, the effect action, so it goes period, then your opponent can't activate cards or effects in response to this card's effect activating. So you're always going to get two attacks off, pretty much, unless they have something to interrupt your attack, you're going to get two attacks off. And then also, too, when it battles your opponent's monster, um, it doesn't have to declare the attack. It can be either way. Or, no, 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 no. It is only if this declares an attack. Sorry. I'm just trying to make sure I get this done for the sake of time. I know y'all don't really like sitting here for too long. So, if it attacks your opponent's monster, half that monster's attack, this gains it, so you're going to be doing 3,000. Most of the time, you're going to be doing 6,000, more or less. And then you have Boar Load. Uh, can't be targeted by card effects. Uh, quick effect, you can drop your opponent's monster. Um, target one face on monster controls. It loses 500 attack and defense. Your opponent can't activate anything in response to that effect. So, you know, it can save you uh, if you're going against a 3k beat and you'd rather it not be destroyed. <laughs> or if you're going against the 3,500 and you'd, you know, you'd rather kill them both instead of just this. Uh, if it attacks an opponent's monster, face up. Uh, you take that opponent's monster and special summon it to a zone it points to, which is really good. Thunder Dragons take their Titan or Colossus and game. So, um, mostly Titan. You're going to want to take Titan with this. Also, it goes good against Ultra Guys because Soliquitous can't target it with its pop, with its bouncing effect. So, you can just keep it on the field. So, alright, and that's going to wrap it up for our extra deck. I'm going to go to our side deck now. All right, and then for a side deck, I uh, just chose what you're gonna need, basically, with the main things you're gonna wanna run for matchups. Um, I have a little bit extra row of the Korean Twin Twisters just for extra removal, but three red reboot against Altergeist. It's a hand trap, pay half your life points, activate from your hand, negate your opponent's trap card that activates, and if they have the room for it, they set one trap card from their deck uh, but their traps can't be activated until the end of the next turn. So if you want to activate it during their turn, or if they try, if they're going first and you're going second, they try to flip one on you. Bam, hit them with that. So, or you can know, you know, set it, not pay half your life points. That's that's pretty nice too. Always nice. Uh, goes to match. Uh, both players can only control one attribute of monster. Since most of your cards are light, you're gonna want to play this. Prank kids, rip, prank kids. Like, 100% of the time. I'm not even going to lie. Rip prank kids. Unless they can pop this with, like, a Twin Twisters. Good game. Which, Twin Twisters would be a, would be a pretty solid brick for them most of the time. To Herald, non-targeting removal. That sends, uh, which is, you know, pretty useful. And not only that, the card sent has its effects negated for the rest of the turn. And negates any card effects with that name. 
pay 1,000 life, 1,500 life points, declare one monster type and attribute, your opponent has to send that monster to the grave. Now, this is really good against cards like um, Heroic Challenger, number 86, Ronga Minia. Um, that can't, cards that can't be affected by card effects. Just do this, doesn't matter, it's not even, it has nothing to do with that monster. You just declare the type and attribute, your opponent sends it. So, really good removal. It's a side, sadly, um, because you can break on it. You don't, you I draw two a lot. I only run two and I draw two a lot. So, Fortress, we already went over, but you know, it's really only for Cyber Dragon matchups. Regionals, I I definitely side it. But uh, YCS, you know, that's kind of up to you, maybe. It, but it's, it's a one of. But if you're going to get Cyber Dragon, you basically get rid of all their monsters, summon this bad boy. It doesn't matter, even if they try, you know, to hit you with uh, Cyber Load Fusion or. In, or uh, there's another Quick Play Fusion spell. It's not instant fusion, something else. But um, the only way they can really stop it is if they have something that negates a special summon. So, uh, busted. If you're just using your opponent's monsters, you're probably gonna get it to 3,000 attack on average. If you're using a Cyber Dragon, three or 4,000. Your own Cyber Dragon, three or 4,000. All right, well, that's it for our side deck. That's it uh, for the deck list in general, so I'm just going to cut to the outro. Alright guys, well, this is the end of the video. I just want to say uh, thank you for kind of being sympathetic, sticking with me to the end. Um, don't worry, I plan, I plan on doing a bit better, but I got a couple more things coming up for you. I'm going to do a whole entire line of beginner tutorials for you, those of you, you know, who are kind of just getting into it. Uh, I plan to do giveaways along the line, um, as well as some more deck lists. I think I got Cubics coming up tomorrow yeah i would say cubics or it's going to be my akashi ftk cyber dragon one of those um just some fun decks you know kind of get away from the meta i know some people just like to play for fun that's just how it is because in the end it's a game but uh yeah the only other suggestions i have for the deck is around the time of making this um there's a trickstar monster and a field spell that aren't out yet once they come out, I'm going to remake the video, but those are definitely cards that if you're watching all the version of this, you're going to want to check out. So um, one's called Calabine, Trickstar Calabine. The other one is called Trickstar Live Stage. So, but uh, yeah, that's it. Shout outs to Side Deck Cafe. Um, like I said, that's where I got most of these cards from. And yeah, um, so Team Big Plus, signing off.